Alphabets by Seamus Heaney, part one. A shadow his father makes with joined hands and thumbs and fingers nibbles on the wall like a rabbit's head. He understands. You'll understand more when he goes to school. There he draws smoke with chalk the whole first week, then draws the forked stick that he call a rye. This is writing. A swan's neck and swan's back make the two he can see now as well as say. Two rafters and a cross tie on the slate are the letter some call A, some call A. There are charts, there are headlines, there's a right way to hold the pen and a wrong way. First it is copying out, and then English, marked correct with a little leaning hole. Smells of inkwells rise in the classroom hush. A globe in the window tilts like a coloured O. I hope you enjoyed that reading from Alphabets. The poem actually continues on and it tells the story of the speaker's journey through education as he becomes more comfortable, confident with writing and ultimately a master of words. So the first part that we read there was really his introduction to education and his beginning with school and beginning to learn to write. Um, the first, the opening line in the first stanza is directly what today's activity was based on. So, a shadow his father makes with joined hands and thumbs and fingers nibbles on the wall like a rabbit's head. So what we'll do today is we'll create shadow puppets of bunnies and all you need will be your hands and a little bit of light. So if you've got sunlight, use the shadow, play with the shadows there. And if not, a lamp. Let's begin by figuring out how to get our hands into those shapes that create the shadows that look like the bunny. So with our left hand, what we'll do to begin with is just leave our thumb relaxed and then bend our finger closest to it, which is our index finger, like so. Bring your middle finger, ring finger and pinky finger, the other three, so that they're straight up. Moving your pinky finger and your ring finger together, create a little gap between the middle finger and them. This is the creation of ears. And this is your bunny's head. For the body, we just need two little feet and that is easily done by just using the finger closest to your thumb and your middle finger and bending the other two in like this. Now you bring the head with its ears and little head and the fingers here. So, with a little bit of light, we should see a bunny. <laughs> Make sure whatever light you're using that it's coming from behind you. So if you're doing it outside, make sure the sun's at your back. And then just have fun, play around and see what happens and see if you can create a story all of your own. Thanks.